so the objective is who uses r and how what is r what is r as i said so this is uh, the the picture which you're seeing seeing is a picture of r studio this is one of the distribution of r that is available in the market and you can see there are four window here the source window is the left hand top window left hand bottom window is the console window right hand top window is the environment window and right hand bottom window is the window where you can see the graphs let me run through let me open it let me see it uh, let me give you a feel of it so this is how it looks so if you want to run let's say it's very simple i want to get the mean this is this will be your first program for r i want to take the mean of number 1 2 3 4 5 that's it i just need to highlight it and i just need to click here and it will give me the it will give you the mean it is that simple it is that simple if you want to take help on mean you just need to question you just need to put a question mark here and type mean and if you will do this and if you will click on run you will get the help here the help will come on this right hand bottom window it is still executing see you can get you can take the help of r what is the arithmetic mean it's a generic function for the trimmed arithmetic mean so you can it is that easy so this this is the r studio this is the r uh, maybe one distribution of r that we are going to use that we will use in our classes okay moving on to the next slide just a minute guys just a minute okay so you do analysis in r by writing scripts so the mean and the place where i am writing that 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 place is known as the script place script place where you can write the script and you can submit it and you can see the result in the console window so it's that is it's it's very very simple to use and also i want to show you the gui that i was talking about the gui which is available there is a as i am saying there are various packages so one of the package which is available in r is the i can write command i can write command here also in the source window and i can command here in the console window also so let's say i am doing i am just including a package called rattle which is available in r and that is one of the gui okay and if i do rattle then you can see i i, I just want to show you the gui that this, that is available in r it will take some time to come up that is taking some time so you can see this this red stop button is coming up that means it is still processing it is still loading it just bear with me system is a little slow that is why it is taking time so that since r is loading everything in the memory so the one disadvantage of r is is it loads all the data in the memory so sometime it's little slow but if you have a faster machine and if you are using r on a on a cluster or on a hadoop cluster you will get a you will get a you know decent amount of output you will get a decent amount of response from the r my machine is a little slow that is why it is taking time let's move on to the slide once it will come up and i am sure it will come up and i'll show you show, you, show it to you later okay so r has also quickly found the following because statistician engineer and scientist without computing computer programming skills find it easy to use what is happening that in most of the us universities for a, for a stats study they are using r right right and when they when these guys are coming out of their colleges and then they have been given some practical assignment assignment of analytics they are trying to use their you know university knowledge that is one of the factor which is making the r popular because they want to use the thing which they have already learned in their university programs right one of the factor which is which is making it popular right so environment i already talked about that environment for statistical analysis r language consists of function for almost every data manipulation manipulation statistical model or chart don't 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 be that much don't get that that, that much confused all these things are really very simple i mean the simplest programming language i ever ever seen maybe the r that is Uh, i personally believe that anything which is tough is not going to stay in the market you need to make your product easy to use then only you can survive so r is one of the effort in that direction only so this is the rattle window which has just come up 
So now whatever whatever you want to do in R, you can do it in Rattle also. You can take the data from any of the sources, like you can see the sources as spreadsheet, ODBC, R data set, R data file, library, corpus, script. Okay, you can do that. You can get the file from anywhere and you can do your analysis. I can take the any of the file from your from my machine and can can I use and I can use that. So this is the Rattle, which is the GUI environment for R. We have some more GUI for R available, but we will not cover it in today's class, in today's session. So it's open source, as I said, everything is open, and the the mother side of R is the R is the CRAN site, is the comprehensive R archive network. This is the place from where you can download R, from where you can download all the packages. Those are available in R, and you can start using those packages. So this is the mother side of R, which is available. R Blogger is a community. If you want to keep yourself updated in the latest development of R, R Blogger is a community. A lot many active members are there, which are giving the, the new latest development on the R on a very regular basis. So this is a help. This is a help for the R programmer or for the data science guys, those who are using R. So you can see there are more than 5,000 packages available in R nowadays, and each package is designed for a custom function. You just need to know which package is required for which kind of function. Yes, Prem, can we use R with language Scala? I am not sure about Scala. I have not used that, but I am sure you, you with some package, you can certainly use it. You can certainly use it. I am sure you can certainly use it, but I have not tried, tried my hands on on that. Okay, so, so moving on to the next slide, who uses R? Okay, so you can see the example, the telecom industry is using, pharmaceutical is using, financial services is using, life sciences is using, and education industry is using. And recently I, I heard a, a news from somewhere that the best case of big data start is the healthcare industry. I very recently, maybe yesterday, I, I read that, that article in some newspaper. They were saying that the best place to start the big data, the most, uh, you know, the industry which is running on big data is the healthcare industry. Okay, so these are the basically data rich industries, and if you are data rich, you need to you need to use the data. You don't you you cannot you cannot sit on the data without using it. Otherwise, you will you will leave the leading edge from the industry perspective. Okay, so these are the domains in which we are using. Apart from that, there are various domains like Los Angeles Police Department is using big data, and you can you uh, or the gaming industry is using data now. IPO teams are getting getting chosen from the statistical model. Bollywood is using stat these data. Recently, IBM has come up with a formula for a hit Bollywood movie. So it's it's everywhere. Wherever there is data, you can you can put your analytical horses there, and you can get the value from there. In the meanwhile, I have a question from Rakesh. He is saying, what are the major areas of mathematics that are used in data science? Rakesh, that's a very very big question. Uh, maybe. Uh, I would say the statistical parts of math is required here. Statistical part of the math, math, math is required here. You can start with the knowledge of mean, median, mode, and all these things. Basic, basic statistical. I would say the 10th class of the statistical knowledge will do for you. Okay. Again, few more examples. We have we have companies those who are using it. Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is using it. John Derry is using it. Bank of America is using it. Specifically, now we are talking about R. The two all companies are using R now. So we have Full Square that is using it. Bank of America is using it. Australian New Zealand Bank is using it. Google is using it. Mozilla is using it. LinkedIn is using it. Flipkart is using it. Amazon is using it. There are various companies those who are using R. And I will come to that. That why they are using R. Why not other tools? Another set of uh, slide of uh, slide that uh, about the companies those were using Visa is using it and uh, various other companies FDA is using it, City is using it, Pfizer is using it, New Sigma is using it. So these are the corporate clients of R. So R first thing that comes in my mind when I talk about R is that it's a free tool. It is a language designed by the statistician and for the statistician, right? This is a language which is which, which is designed to help the data sciences, data science guy, data analytics guy. It is free, and there are more than 5,000 packages are available in R. So if you want to pull the data from the Twitter, if you want to pull the data from Facebook, 
if you want to pull the data from any social media site, you just need to include a package. I am giving a concept, a little concept of package. So think of package as a customized function. Like if I have a function tweet r, tweet r in in r environment, I just in, I just need to include this package in my session. And if I'll run a command get page Narendra Modi number of Twitter as number of tweets as hundred, I'll get the tweet. I'll get 100 tweets from the Narendra Modi's official page, right? Maybe from the Barack Obama's official page or from any other page. I just need to specify that to whom Twitter account I want to access and how many tweets do I need to pull in. That's it. It is that simple. For everything, I mean, if you want to do customized uh, graphs, if you want to do customized visualization, you can do it. There are more than 5,000 packages, which is which is ready for you to use. You just need to include them and you can use them for your users. Okay, so learning R is, is you know, is, is easier. As I said, there are various GUI, those are available in R, like Rectal, like R Commander. So with, with the help of these GUI, you need not to write a single line of code and you can do your entire analytics job with that. Okay, and similarly, R can be connected from many databases. Like if you want to connect R, from SAS database, if you SAS data set, if you want to connect R from RDBMS, if you want to connect R from the social media, if you want to pull data from Excel sheet, if you want to pull data from a text file, from a CSV file, from a wide space delimited file, anywhere. If you want to, if you want to have, you know, pull data from any source, you can do that. You can easily do that. It is all available in R. So whatever the data that you can imagine, you can pull that data, you can put the data, and you can do your analysis. Right. So Point is the uh, it is free. There are a lot many packages available and a, a decent amount of help which is available in R. So if you if you want to take a help on on any of the aspect of any of, on the you know maybe programming side, you can take help from the internal R help side or maybe from the R blogger or R uh, Stack Overflow site. You can get the help from there. Okay.